Science works by debate. You know, we're always challenging each other. But the debate that takes place in climate science these days isn't about whether humans are causing the planet to warm and, and these risks exist, but things like how fast it will happen. I am uh, Donald Bosch, uh, and I am president of the University of Maryland Center for Environmental Science. Of the legitimate experts, climate scientists, 97% support this notion that humans are warming the earth in that this is going to increase climate change with serious risks. We've been able to see a clear indication of the increase in greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere, of CO2 in particular in the Earth's atmosphere. We started about 280 parts per million at the end of the Industrial Revolution, first part of the 20th century, and we've now just crossed 400 parts per million. The level that we now see of 400 parts per million literally hasn't been seen in the Earth's history over the last several million years. So it is really something to think about and to notice that this change has taken place. The challenge we're now facing is that those levels increase, it's warming even more than normal. And so we've seen this shift in climate as a result of that, those human activities. We can get prepared for the changes that will take place so that we're making wise decisions to protect ourselves, to protect uh, property, our continued economic existence and so on. We cannot avoid climate change. It is here already. The question is, what can we do to avoid its worst consequences later on when it gets really out of hand? And the good news is, is that we can do a lot. We can reduce, primarily, we can reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. We in Maryland have committed through law now to reduce our, our greenhouse gas emissions uh, by 25% by the year 2020. So it starts with our taking leadership in Maryland to show how we can begin to adapt to changes, how we can aggressively meet our goals of reducing greenhouse gas emissions, developing the technologies that we can export and help people in the rest of the world. And, and that leadership is absolutely essential and it, that's exactly what we're trying to do here in Maryland today.